Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I want to show you how to create a poll in Flowix and then bring that poll into your TriCaster via LiveLink. So uh, this is a great way to create audience engagement and you can have your audience vote on different things and then have your hosts interact with your audience and show all the poll results right there in the middle of your show. So pretty simple to do and very awesome. Let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I'm gonna start off on my desktop where I have my Flowix uh, page open, and then I also have NDI Studio Monitor open so that I can quickly get back and forth between Flowix and my TriCaster so I can bring in these graphics into my show. All right, so a few steps to create a graphic within Flowix. Uh, first thing, we'll need to either create a new experience or select one that we've already created, and I have one in here called Tuesday Tutorials. Let me go ahead and open that one up. So first thing I need to do is make sure that I have it active because I keep forgetting to hit the start button. <laughs> okay, so I'll hit start, and now this experience is active and good to go. All right, now to create a poll, there's gonna be three different things. Uh, one, you need to create the poll itself and the different mechanics that are behind it. Uh, number two is create the landing page so that you can have your audience vote on the poll. And then number three, create the graphic to embed into your show. Okay, so we'll start with creating the poll itself, and we'll do that within the Mechanics tab here. So let's click on Create Mechanic. And you'll see there's a couple different options in here. There's polls, scoring, votes, stories, Twitter poll, etc. But I'm just going to go ahead and start with a simple poll here. So we'll click on single. And first thing, for housekeeping purposes, let's type in what this will be about. So today's, be uh, today's beverage, today's poll is going to be about uh, which do people prefer, coffee or tea? I'm just going to make this kind of simple for today. So uh, which do you prefer? Okay. Now uh, from here... Uh, you have different options here for your answers. So the first one, let's put in coffee. And the next one, we'll put in tea. All right. Now you can add more responses in here by clicking add answer. Um, make them as many as you want, I suppose. And then, but I'm just going to delete those. We only need the two for today. So uh, the next thing, you can add uh, images into here as well, um, uh, either via embedding a, a hyperlink in here or just upload a photo, which I've already done. So let me click on this. So you could upload a photo from your drive, for example, but let's say, let's use that one and that one. All right, just, and then click save here. All right, so almost done. So this is kind of the back end of the poll. So now what we need to do is go ahead and turn it on. So I'll click on open. All right, that poll is live. So let's go to step two. We'll go back to our dashboard. So now you'll see that there's my poll ready to go, and it's open, it's active. So next thing, let's make a landing page for our uh, users to go through and, uh, or audience to go through and vote on it. So we'll click on Create Page. All right, and so first thing you'll see here is drag an element from the sidebar. So let's go to the sidebar, click on Elements, and you'll see under the Page Elements here, what I'll need to find is Poll, drag that in here, boom. All right, so it's blank right now, so now we need to connect the poll that I just made by going over to the left and clicking on Connect Mechanic. It's the only one that I have in this list, so we'll click on that. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, cool. Now, uh, again, this is for building the landing page for your audience to vote on us. So you can go through and change this around however you like. Um, like, for example, if you don't like that mustard color up the top, go ahead and click on it, and we'll change that to red. There we go. Changes. Um, you can put in, uh, uh, you can change, you know, the, the, the fonts and the margins on here, etc. Uh, pretty much, this is, there's a lot of different things to do, so I won't go through each and every one of them, so you can always just play around with it. Um, and, but I want to change how this looks at least, so let's go to the image buttons here. So I have four different options here. One, I can go into a list. That one's okay. Or I can go into image buttons. We just saw that one. Just the buttons themselves. Or we'll go to media grid. I kind of like that one, so let's go ahead and do that. So, all right, so to make that live, we'll just click on publish at the top right. And there we go. So 
Awesome. So now from here, uh, you have a couple different options. You have just a, a URL here, which you can copy, throw it on social media or something so that you can, you know, send it to your audience so that they can uh, vote on it. Or you can embed it directly into your site right here. So you can just copy the script and throw it into your uh, web page. Kind of up to you how you want to do it. Okay. But let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So I'll go ahead and select open in a new tab. And there you go. So there's how that looks. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cast the first vote here. I'm just going to put in coffee because that's my jam. So there we go. One in there already. All right. So now let's go back into Flowix and go to our dashboard. All right, so step one is done. Created the poll. Step two, creating the page. That's done. Now let's go to step three, and that's creating the graphics to embed into our show. So click on Create Graphics Package. Open this up. Now you can drag that into one of these options in Scene 1, but I'm just going to do make my life a little simpler and go to Scene 2 here, because that's a full page graphic. And now we need to find uh, a widget to bring into our show here. So what we'll need to do is go under the bottom left here and select down, find where Widgets is. Or, easiest way to do it, honestly, just type in poll. There you go. Now I have a couple different options. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those. I'm going to grab this one first. These are just examples. So, that's one of them. That's for the lower third. That'll be the full screen one. But I personally like this poll card. Let's do that. Cool. And that's what it looks like. There we go. So, you'll see that, uh, again, this is just a, a generic... A uh, poll we need to connect our uh, a poll that we created to this so that we can embed the data. So let's do that by going over to the right, click on connect mechanic, select beverage. There you go. See, I already have my vote going in there. So cool. So again, on, on this, you can go through and change the different elements, like you know, if you want to change the color of your background. Uh, Etc. You can do all of that, and then here at the bottom, that's the good one to you know vote now on your site. So you can type in your website's name or create a tiny URL, QR code, whatever you want, uh, kind of thing. All right. Now, since I'm going to be putting this into my TriCaster, I'm going to put this into my shot that I have here in the background. So I kind of want to put it over on the left a little bit. I could format it within the TriCaster, or I could just do it directly in Flowix, which is what I will do to make life a little sim simpler for me. So I'm going to select the whole graphic, and I'm just going to grab the margin here and squish it over. Well, it would help if I selected the whole thing. There we go, like that. All right, squish, squish, squish. Not too much. Mm, that looks all right. Okay, cool. Now, you can always go through and create different animations for bringing this on and off screen in the overlay, ins and outs uh, side of things. But today, like I said, I'm just going to keep this very simple uh, just to show you how to create these and then embed it into your show. Okay, so let's go ahead and publish this page. So that is open. So now let's go ahead and open up my remote. All right. Now I need to make sure that I enable live to make sure that this is actually going to be operational. There we go. And then if I take scene one in, there we go. There's our poll. Good to go. So now let's go ahead and embed the graphics into the TriCaster. So uh, I'm going to click on open output and that will open up the page for my HTML5 graphics. So what we'll need to do is go to the URL at the top here and copy that like so, and then we move over to the TriCaster. All right, so here on the TriCaster, what I need to do is now paste in the graphic that I created from Flowix. So to do that, we'll go to our buffers and click on this plus button. And uh, here's where you'd normally go to, say, drop in an image or a video or something like that. Uh, but for this, we'll click on Web Browser and then just paste what we got from Flowix. All right, and you can see over here, it's loaded that into my buffer number one. So let's go ahead and bring that on screen by going to downstream keyer number one, buffers, select buffer number one, and bring it on screen and check it out. 
boom, there's our interactive poll now brought directly into our broadcast. Now, I've had other people here in the office for me to have them vote on this. You can see that this will change in real time as I start to get more votes in, etc. But that's a pretty awesome way to add audience engagement to your show by creating a poll directly in Flowix and then throwing those graphics into your TriCaster and embed them directly into your show. So you can even have your host interact with it, talk about it, etc. Uh, so it's really fun. I highly recommend playing around with this. And of course, y'all know me, have some fun. So as you can see, this is a great way to create audience engagement and bring that into your show. Now for more information on Flowix, check out their website, flowix.com. Also, for more information on new tech products and services, talk to your local new tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And for more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formalized new tech product training, check out New Tech University, which you can find at newtech.com slash newtech u. And as always, if you're working with new tech products on social media and posting your work, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what you're doing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.